five most infuriating characters in video game history. And when we're playing a game, we like to think that we'll meet an ensemble of rich personalities who are at least likeable. After all, who wants to converse with a series of annoying characters? Sadly, this basic guideline isn't always the case. Sometimes game writers and creators want their product to stand out, and so they throw in a character who's nothing more than a source of fury. Thus, here at Flickering Myth, we've compiled a list of five characters we believe were the most infuriating to deal with. Now, as always, Spoilers exist ahead for the following titles. Number one, Jordy from Watch Dogs 1 and Watch Dogs 2. And yeah, we know Jordy has a bit of a cult following among players, but it's something that we don't really understand. He starts off as a decent enough character, charismatic, darkly funny, even helpful at times, but he soon devolves into a worse version of Stephen Hick from Alpha Protocol, his sadism and wacky personality changing from entertaining to creepy. The real problem with him, however, comes in the game's final act when he randomly decides to join forces with the main antagonist, only to, in the epilogue, return to being an ally of Aiden. It was a weird dynamic that wasn't properly explored, and it made him annoying. That being said, his smaller, recurring appearance in the sequel, Watch Dogs 2, was more enjoyable, making him the lowest entry on this list. And number two, Shiogarath from the Elder Scrolls. Uh, that's the Shivering Isles. Though another popular character among certain sects of gamers, when examined objectively, Siogarath was someone who was ultimately a pain to deal with. Now we get that Bethesda wanted to create an NPC who embodied the craziness of the Shivering Isles, but Siogarath's appeal quickly wears off the more you talk with him. Now for starters, he's a sociopath without the likability of other psychos. He speaks with an annoying amount of vocal inflections, not helped by Bethesda reusing a previous voice artist from Oblivion. Skip rope with them! <laughs> but perhaps now's not the time. And you've made it this far, farther than anyone else. Well done! His tasks often involve you doing horrible stuff to other denizens of the Shivering Isles, such as driving them insane or outright killing them. The fact that he's ultimately revealed to be the main antagonist of the expansion pack makes hacking and slashing him a joy. But even that cathartic violence didn't quite make up for the madness we developed working for him. Number 3, Sticky from Fallout 3. Now you know what's worse than an annoying NPC? An annoying NPC you're tricked into thinking is important. Fallout 3 had many quests, one of which involved Sticky. Now Sticky is a teen who has been kicked out of the Lord of the Flies haven called Little Lamplight. With no choice but to leave for the adjacent big town, you have the option to escort him. Boy, will you regret it. He walks at a snail's pace, preventing you from running. He dies easily, making it a pain to protect him. And oh, did we mention that he does not stop talking? Once upon a time, there was this robot. What? His name was Joking Joe. Now you can try and make him shut up, but if your speech isn't high enough, he'll just chide you. You shut up! If you manage to get him to the city without blowing his head off, you're rewarded with, guess what? Nothing! Then maybe there's a reason there's no karma for killing him. Number four, Claptrap from the Borderlands series. Now where, or oh where do we even begin? Or do we even have to begin? A quick look at the Wikipedia page for Claptrap showcases the many professional critical sites that have, rightfully, trashed him for being one of the worst characters ever conceived in gaming history. His voice, done by two different actors to this date, is like nails on chalkboard. And that would be bad enough were it not for the fact that he is deliberately intended to be a headache for both the player and other inhabitants of the various locales. He insults and annoys everyone, is completely incompetent at his job, and is the source of much hatred. Minion, can you blow into this thing? Maybe liven the party up a bit? How anyone thought this was a good concept for an NPC is beyond me. The only reason, and let me repeat, the only reason he is not number one on this list is because every game gives you, or another character, some method of hurting him. And yes, when you're driven to enjoy hurting a character, it is telling of their annoyance. Well, our number five is Mikkel from the first Witcher game. And because of its exclusive launch on PC, the original Witcher is a bit of an underrated gem in the grand scheme of action RPGs. But even those PC gamers who managed to play it may not remember who Mikkel was. Mikkel is a guard you encounter during the first chapter of the game. 
His trust is needed in order to pass into the nearby city of Vizima, forcing Geralt to clear a cave of monsters for him. But this is all seemingly fine until you discover a woman's body in the grotto, identified as Ilsa. Further investigation reveals that Mikkel not only stalked her, but deflowered her along with other members of the terrorist group Salamandra, causing her to commit suicide later. Mikkel raped Ilsa, who took her own life. Now this is horrible enough that things get personal when he betrays Geralt upon the hero's attempt to pass the city gates, resulting in Geralt getting knocked out and thrown in jail. And these two factors are what make him the most infuriating character in video game history. He commits heinous crimes, yet the developers don't give you any method of getting revenge on him. He got away with assault and betrayed Geralt in the process. If that doesn't get your blood boiling, well, I don't know what does. Now whether it's for comedic or dramatic purposes, We've all encountered an NPC in our days who's made us want to strangle their virtual throats. Does anyone fit a bill for you we perhaps have missed here in this list? If so, you know what to do, list them in the comments below and of course be sure to subscribe to Flickering Myth for more content. So until the next time, this is Scotty saying keep watching, keep listening, keep commenting and we'll be back soon with another video for you. Take care, bye bye.